Hi, Miss Green Humphead Parrotfish. Do you mind if I interview you? Not at all. So, can you tell me what you eat and what your mouth is like? Of course. Coral and turf algae are my favorite foods. I will spend all day munching on coral and chomping turf algae that grow on the bottom of the reef. Because I eat both animals and plants, I am an omnivore. Thanks. It's been fun hanging out with you in the reef. We are off to the lab now. No problem. Have fun in the lab. We're now in the Collections Resource Center at the Field Museum and we're with Dr. Josh Drew. Dr. Drew, what do you study? Well, I study how come there are so many fish. We know that the coral reefs are the most, what we call, biodiverse or species-rich marine ecosystem. But we don't really have a great understanding as to why there are. So part of my research here at the Field Museum is understanding what factors have led to this uh, great number of species. <laughs> wow, that's super cool. What's that skeleton of? Well, this is a skeleton of one of the uh, major groups of fish called a parrotfish. And you've seen that floating around on Y Reef. And there's a couple of really interesting things about this. So as you know, parrotfish eat coral and eat uh, algae and sand. And when they eat coral, coral is a very hard structure. So they have to have a couple of different jaws to do it. So unlike us, they actually have two pair. They've got a front pair here, which is a hard beak, which is how they got the name parrotfish. And they use this to actually scrape or bite into the rock that coral produces. And they break it off here, but they can't actually chew it here. So they've got a second set of jaws in the back of their throat called the pharyngeal jaws. And you can see these are flat, crushing structures. And what they do is they break the coral off of their front jaws, but they actually chew it into a fine sand here. Now they're actually so effective at breaking this coral down <clears throat> into a fine sand that parrotfish don't actually have stomachs like you and I do. Rather, they just have a very long intestine to take the nutrients out. Not only are the corals eating, or not only are the parrotfish eating the coral organism, but they're also eating algae that grows inside the, the rock that the coral produces. Because they have this really sharp scraping beak, parrotfish are also able to, to grind down and take off little bits of algae that are growing very, very close to the, the surface of the, of the substrate on the reef, the very bottom of the reef. Not many other fish can, can basically mow the lawn that short or crop it that short. So uh, when other fish, like surgeon fish, leave a little bit of stubble, parrotfish are actually able to scrape it off and thereby gain access to resources that other fishes don't have. Hi, we're making a movie about the feeding behavior of the green humphead parrotfish. We learned today that parrotfish are very well adapted to eating coral animals and algae that live inside its hard coral skeleton. First, the parrotfish uses its strong beak to break off pieces of the coral. Then, it uses its back grinding teeth to break the hard coral skeleton down. It eats the coral animals and the algae, and then it poops out the waste, and that becomes our sandy beaches. <laughs>